tomorrow, even with the cloud cover, looks pretty good. Sunday, we're saying don't cancel your plans. Yeah, because we're going to have plenty of dry time. It's not a washout. But if you do have an event outdoors on Sunday, make sure you have the umbrella, the poncho, have that weather ready plan in place. Here's 8 a.m. on Sunday with future weather. Notice some showers across the area. Notice where they're favoring northern Virginia. I think the best chance for steady rain at times on Sunday is going to be in northern Virginia with a better chance for more dry time in the district and parts of Maryland. As we hit the midday hours, notice the chance for showers pretty much area wide, but notice dry time too, especially as we head on into the afternoon hours. Just some pockets of rain out there, nothing too heavy, no thunderstorms are in the forecast on our Sunday. And as we head into Monday, a little bit more rain is in the forecast, but your Saturday not looking bad at all. A nice start, mild at 68 degrees, a high of 83, low humidity on Sunday with plenty of clouds for the second half of the day, and then occasional rain on Sunday with a high of 77. So the weather having a bit of an impact on your weekend heading to the pool. It's nice on Saturday, not a ton of sun. Doug, cutting the grass, you want to do that tomorrow. Hopefully you can fit it in in between Callie's sporting event mm -hmm. outdoors yep. and the experts at Maryfield Garden Center tell us if you're getting out in the garden, you can stop slugs and snails from feeding on your hostas, dahlias, basil, and other favorite garden plants with iron phosphate, organic, pet friendly, good slug bait. <laughs> oh, good slug bait. Yeah, okay, go. great. That's what we all need, good slug bait. Oh, beers, a good slug bait? Put a I pie pan full of beer out there. You'll get a bunch of dead, bloated <laughs> slugs the next day. I had no idea, Wendy, I had no idea. 83 on your Saturday, 77 on Sunday with that chance of rain. Same deal on Monday and Tuesday. And the rain comes back in Monday, or Wednesday afternoon into Thursday. So we've got a very unsettled pattern as we move on through the next couple of days. One thing for sure, though, uh, no heat. Uh, average high temperature in middle of next week is 84. We'll be well below that. All right, sounds good. Doug, thank you. Hey, when you donate clothing, you often don't find out where they wind up or who they end up helping. Well, Leon Harris is going to introduce us to a Northern Virginia organization. It gives a name and a story to every person receiving a donated piece of clothing. Women Giving Back is this week's Harris's Hero. Inside this store in Loudoun County, you'll find dresses, shoes, purses, and some incredible stories of resilience, like McCole Lewis's story. I struggled with 17-year drug addiction, and I was pregnant with my twins, and I was tired of being tired. Yeah. And I ended up out here in the shelter. And in turn from the shelter, I ended here in Women's Giving Back. You're coming here with two, with, with twins, with three-week-old twins. Yeah. When I first walked through the door, um, I was broken. Even though many women who come here find themselves broken, the volunteers who work here are ready, willing, and able to build them back up. We understand what clothing means, what it matters, how it can empower you and make you feel better. Women Giving Back is a nonprofit organization that provides free, quality clothing to women and their children. Caseworkers refer the clients to the organization. The entire staff is made up of volunteers like Rebecca Geller. Helping uh, women to look for clothes, for jobs, for their careers, for their lives, for their families. A lot of these are women who have been survivors of domestic violence. This organization is all about women helping women set each other up for success in their careers and in life. We oftentimes forget that outfits and professional clothing does not come naturally for someone. The moms can also pick up clothes and toys for their kids. I hope that those work for you. Yes, I think she had a prom. Mm -hmm. So we were looking for a dress for her. And then I ended up getting for myself too. It just frees their mind to be able to go find a job and go take care of housing and the other things that they need to do that are really important to get themselves on track. Nicole now works for this organization as a volunteer. She says this place was a divine intervention for her life. For me, it was everything. Women Giving Back is part of my current foundation. After I came, they, they stuck with me. You came here to get clothes, but you left here with something for your soul. Exactly. Exactly. How cool is that? It's amazing. It's amazing. What a difference they're making. And if you'd like to learn more about this organization, go to our NBC Washington app and search Harris's Heroes. We'll be right back, so stay with us. Closed captioning brought to you by Belfort, Washington's largest furniture and mattress store. Join NBC4 for Purple Stride DC, the walk to end pancreatic cancer, this Saturday morning at Freedom Plaza. Get more info at purplestride.org.